darling. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Makes sense you don't recognize me. Allow me to introduce myself. Again. I'm your husband. Been your husband for a while, actually. <laughs> well, before you freak out, let me explain the situation. So, just a few minutes ago, you're being very sweet, as you always are. We're cuddling, just here on the couch. But as we we're getting all nice and cozy, you were telling me just how much you love me. How much you accept me and all that stuff like that. Now, I love you very, very much. I even go as far as to say I'm obsessed with you. Because of that, I may have done a few messed up things in the past. But you were telling me how much you love me anyway. And, and not just that. You were telling me that you love me so much that even if you forgot who I was, you'd still remember that you love me and feel safe with me. And then, you even suggested I cast an amnesia spell on you. Temporarily, of course. Just to make you forget about me for a few hours. You promised you'd still love me and feel safe enough to cuddle up with me. And... So that's what I did. I cast that spell on you. Only after making sure multiple times that you're okay with, of course. I'm your doting Kitsune husband, after all. And I have to make sure I take extra special care. My extra special someone. So, how do you feel? You feel... safe with me? Really? Are you sure you feel safe with me? Is there... Is there anything I can do to make you feel... safer? Should I cling to you? I normally cling to you like glue every single night, but... I'm not really sure that would be appropriate right now, since... You don't exactly remember me. I'm not sure that would make you feel... Unsafe. You'd feel safe? Okay. I'll do it then. <sighs> you know... I do feel a little guilty about this. I feel like clinging to you like this is more for my satisfaction than it is for yours. Hmm. But my amazing, stunning sweetheart gave me the okay. So I guess it's all right. Oh, <laughs> you can cling to me too. Do whatever you want. Squeeze my tail. Squeeze something else. Lick my hand or something. <laughs> it's fine. I'm forever your adoring husband. I could never say no to you, darling. <sighs> I'm so happy I snatched you up first, you know. <sighs> I don't know what I would do if someone married you first. Well, I do actually. But I don't think you'd like to hear about it. 
But anyway... So is it true then? Do you really still love me? Even if you don't remember me? <laughs> then I love you too. I must sound like such a broken record telling you how much I love you all the time. Well, I guess it sounds fresh to you now. I love you so much. I feel like a newlywed every single day I'm with you. And that's how happy you make me. Hmm. You don't actually remember how much I love you, right? Maybe I should remind you. You remember the first gift I ever gave you? It was a notebook I filled with all the things I love about you. My father thought it was stupid. Like I was coming on too strong by writing so much about you. Like I was the crazy one. But you loved it. I was so happy that you loved it. You know, you were the only person to ever make me feel like I wasn't crazy. Like I was sane. In my own special way. You know, now that you lost your memories for a bit, you still think that's a gift you would have loved. Right? I'm not crazy. I was made for you. I was meant to be your husband. Oh, you're such a wonderful, understanding person. I love you. I love your resilience. You go through so much, but you still persevere to be here with me. You make me the happiest man in the world. I love your company. Any day with you is a good one. And I love your smile. If anything threatened your smile, I'd have an urge to destroy that threat. Completely and utterly. I'd kill it for you. And just to be sure, I'd kill it again. And again, and again, and again. I'm sorry. What was I saying? Oh, right. I love you. Hmm. Let's see. What else should I remind you of? Oh, right. You probably don't remember how good I am at casting spells. Here, let me show you one. I'll, uh, I'll cast a spell to make you extra precious. Okay, here I go. Oh, it didn't work. Because you're so precious already. Can't say I'm surprised there. My priceless, one-of-a-kind beloved. You probably don't remember, but I pulled that same gag on one of our dates. Let me remind you about it. It was before we got married, actually. I hadn't asked you to marry me yet at that point, but I kept giving you hints. You kept on finding marriage certificates in your pockets or under your pillow and places like that. One time even your cereal. Now that was a breakfast. I like to think I'm subtle sometimes. But anyway, about our date. We went to the carnival and we were playing a game where you shoot ducks. Not actual ducks, of course. Just on... Just on little boards, or whatever you call them. And while we were playing the game, I was kind of bummed, because, well, I couldn't hit anything. 
<laughs> well, in my defense, it's hard to aim when I'm busy staring at someone who may be the happiest husband in the world. No, I guess we weren't married at the time yet. But still, in my head I knew we'd end up married. It's just how destiny works. <sighs> but I'm getting sidetracked. Since I couldn't hit any of the ducks, you told me to imagine that all the ducks were hitting on you. And after that, I was able to shoot them all down. It's like... It's almost as if some kind of supernatural power overtook me. It was really smart and cute of you, sweetheart. Hmm? Oh. The whole, you're already so precious so I can't cast a spell thing came up later on the date. That's not what the story's about. I was just trying to remind you about a fun, cute little memory. But you'll remember it in a few hours anyway. Oh, and speaking of fun, cute little memories, there's another one I should tell you about. This one time, you asked me what my dream home was, and I said, one with you in it. And well, I guess this is my dream home then. And there's still so many memories I want to share with you. I remember when we first held hands. You had to put in so much effort into convincing me to finally wash that hand. And remember when I first visited your place? Later, you'd even let me in. Oh, and there's also the time we had our first walk together. It was so romantic walking together that night, under the full moon. Granted, I was trailing behind you by a few hundred feet. But still, it was so romantic. I still even have the pictures. Ah. <sighs> And those were the days. But I'm really happy with our current days, too. Our relationship feels... more secure now. Now that we're married. Now that I firmly have you... all in my greedy little grasp. <laughs> I really like that, you know. I don't want to lose you to anything. Because you're my special someone. You're my other half. The only one I could ever love. You're all that I could ever ask for. And I could never bear to lose you either. I'd rather lose everything before I lose you. I'd rather lose my arms, my legs, my sight, my home, my name. All my memories. I'd rather lose everything before I lose you. You're mine. Maybe you don't remember, but you told me before it's okay to call you mine. Which I'm very grateful for, my dear beloved. Because I have an absolute addiction to saying it. Although... Though I can understand if I need your permission again to say it. Now that you're amnesic for a bit. So can I? Can I keep calling you mine? <laughs> Good. Then I'll happily say it. Again and again. You're mine. My darling. My darling. And if anyone disagrees, they'll have to be sure to barricade their homes. And fireproof them too. Though, they may as well add a bunker while they're at it. Just in case. Well, even if they do, I've got a spell for that. Hey, um, 
Weird question. And I know I've already asked this, but do you really still love me? Even after everything I've told you? Oh. I love you too. I love you. You know, I'm so happy we went through this today. We've been married for so long, but you still find ways to make me happy. You're amazing. Breathtaking. You're the meaning in my life. I always knew I made the right decision to marry you. I never regretted making you mine. Even for a second. Oh. You're looking kind of tired. I guess you should be getting some sleep soon. I shouldn't really be keeping you up. Would it keep you up too much if I told you how much I love you? I just really want to say it. You don't have to, like, focus on my words or respond to me or anything. Just know that I really, really love you. For every moment of my life that I've known you, I've always loved you. Whether that moment was sucking at a carnival game, or... <laughs> putting a marriage certificate in your cereal. Well, like I said, you don't need to respond to me fawning over you. I just want to say it. I love you. You can go ahead and get some sleep. Sweet dreams, my love. Thanks for letting me know just how much you love me. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. you.